Christian business person is someone who is trying to ask God to help them in their business. A kingdom entrepreneur understands that you don't actually own anything, that you're, in, you, you're invited into an assignment that God has set for your life, and you're nothing more than a steward of it. God's not interested in being your business partner. He's not interested in the 50-50 split. He's not interested in 51%, 49%. God's like, I'm the boss. You either work for me or you don't. That's, that's the deal. That's just how that works. So I want to give you five, like, five things that could just be like, I just want to put them inside of you to go, these are some markers that just help you understand Am I, am, I, am I growing? Am I moving towards kingdom entrepreneurship? The first one is this. Your foundation as a Christian, as a kingdom business person, should be in a, listen to this, a growing intimacy with Christ in your life. You never, you, you will never become professional enough, strong enough, wise enough, um, whatever enough, to outgrow your need for, to have a, a dynamic, fresh, alive appreciation and growing intimacy with Christ in your life. If you say, well, I struggle, I struggle to engage in that space because my business has got me too busy. You're too busy. You're too busy. I remember, I remember a, a builder coming to me and his business had outrun him. He was, he was pulling his hair out. He's, he said, Dave, I'm working five days a week, 12 hours a day. And I, I just can't, this business is like it's chaos. And and, and I'm losing money here and, I'm do, and I don't know what I should do. And, and he said, what should I do? And I said to him, work four days. And he walked out. He wanted me to coach him and he walked out and he laughed and he said, you don't understand me. You don't understand my situation. He called me six months after that and he was desperate. He goes, listen, man, I really, I really need your help. I said, is it still the same issue? He said, yeah. And I said, you need, you need to work four days. He hung up the phone. 12 months later, he, he calls me and he says, I, I said, what's going on? He goes, I, I took your advice. He goes, I, I know you, were, you weren't telling me to take the day off and go and sit on the beach. You were telling me to take the day off and actually begin to go before the Lord and, and reset that part of my life. I said, yeah, that's right. And he said, you know, Dave, everything's changed. Because you got the foundation right. Like, you, you got the foundation right. In the... In the West, when Westminster Catechism, the question, this is what it says. It says, what is the chief end of man? Mm. And this is what it says. Man's chief end is to glorify God and enjoy him forever. Yeah. In Matthew 6.33, which is, uh, you know, seek first the kingdom. Mm. Have you ever thought about what that means? To seek first the kingdom? To seek first the kingdom is first you've got to seek first the king. Mm. There's no point saying I'm seeking first the kingdom if I'm not seeking first the king. Jesus says, hey, all the, the heathen, as it were, run after all this other stuff. They're hustling and grinding. and they're trying to do this stuff. You're not like that. You don't play to those rules. Your job is to, Matthew 6, says, seek first the kingdom and his righteousness, his ways, and all these things shall be added to you. I believe that the, one of the first foundation stones of supernatural business or kingdom entrepreneurship is a absolute commitment to intimacy with Christ. One of the guys that I run around with has a company worth $1.2 billion. He takes one day off a week to go and speak to God. Hmm. Takes an entire midweek, Wednesday. Wednesday is his God day. Doesn't do any deals, phones off, all the <laughs> He goes, he actually jumps on a jet ski for a day, uh, suffering for Jesus. And <laughs> he talks to God, like, he's a billionaire. Some of his billionaire buddies, because he outgrew them, asked him for the secret of his success. And they said, but don't tell us anything. Don't, you know, we know you're a Christian, you know, like don't give us the God talk. And he said, I've got nothing to tell you because you're all smarter than me. You, you've been longer, you've got better contacts than I have. Because the only thing that separates me from you guys is that I take one day off a week and I go and I get my heart right with God and I, I press in and I get to know him better. Wow. Intimacy with Christ is your foundation. Baby, what do you reckon about that? Intimacy with Christ, I mean, 